Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Transport operations can be a logistical nightmare. There are some transport operations that go the extra mile for transporting massive objects. From transporting NASA spacecrafts to transporting hotels to a new location, in today's episode, we've collected such 15 most epic transport operations in history. Number 15, Petrochemical Splitter. There are big pieces of equipment, and then there are big pieces of single equipment. We're talking about the Petrochemical Splitter. This is just as big as a football field. Built in the industrial yard in the city of Edmonton, Canada, this has to be transported across Alberta towards Fort Saskatchewan for usage in the petrochemical plant. This long journey took four days. Weighing over 1.6 million pounds, this was the heaviest load to ever travel the highway system of Alberta. It was called the historic super load. Manufactured by Caterpillar, this splitter is even six times larger than the largest piece of equipment. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. Number 14. Transporting Elephants Transporting animals is not an easy task. They can enrage or even panic, causing serious troubles while transporting them especially when you have to deal with elephants. War elephants are transported from native countries to battlefields in planes, such as Ptolemy II Philadelphus has custom-made crafts just for transporting these tusked animals. Number 13. Statue of Liberty The Statue of Liberty is one of the most iconic sculptures, arriving in New York on June 17, 1885, marking the end of the Civil War and the abolition of slavery. You might not know this, but it was transported disassembled in 210 separate crates. This was to make the journey safer and easier from France. It stayed fractured for 10 months until the massive pedestal was constructed. Just imagine how this would have been transported if it wasn't disassembled. Number 12. Mirrors for Telescopes Two huge mirrors for a huge telescope need extra, extra care. So, a team of astronomers, engineers, police officers, and transport specialists joined to do this impossible task. This was brought from the University of Arizona to the top of Monte Cristo Range at a height of two miles. Five months were spent in preparation to carry 216-ton mirrors and a 33-ton case. These traveled through 120 miles at a speed of 9 miles per hour for two days to reach the destination. Number 11. Shuttle Endeavor People all across the country and up and down the coast of California clambered onto rooftops, swarmed bridges, and climbed the highest buildings to say goodbye to Endeavor OV-105 on its final journey. This American shuttle made its last trip to Los Angeles to become a museum piece after 20 years of flying and covering 115 million miles in space. It was on the back part of a Boeing 747, after which it traveled through streets, and this trip took two days and 12 miles. Number 10. Nuclear Reactor How difficult it must be transporting a nuclear reactor! Saudi company transported a 1,048-ton reactor 683 miles on steep desert hills. Hydraulic trailers and 10 prime movers were used. It was just like a mission, as trucks and trailers had to keep switching mechanically to take this heavy object to its destination. Number 9. Transporting a Hotel Hull Have you ever seen someone towing a small trailer home? That's quite unusual. And that's what happened back in 1989. Hotel Montgomery in San Jose, California was damaged beyond use. This was due to an earthquake. It was planned to knock the whole building down in 2000 and construct a new hotel. But then this twist happened. The mayor of San Jose intervened as he wanted to preserve this old building and return it to its original splendor. The 4,800-ton hotel was transported 186 feet east of its original location. So, the hotel was successfully moved and renovated, and at present, it's fully functional. When are you planning to visit the hotel in San Jose? Number 8. Bullwinkle 
A giant oil platform called Bullwinkle is present deep in the Gulf of Mexico. First installed in 1988, this was the tallest structure ever built at the time of its construction, with a total height of 1,736 feet. If you're still confused about its massiveness, then this structure stands 500 feet taller than the Empire State Building. That's not the only comparison, though. It took five years to construct this 77,000-ton platform. The amount of steel used here was 10 times more than that used for the Eiffel Tower. But how was this massive oil rig taken out into the water? Three and a half days were spent traveling from the shore to the destination with a posse of the toughest tugboats. It took $500 million to build and transport this gigantic platform. But this is worth it, as Bullwinkle can produce 59,000 barrels of oil per day. Number 7. NASA's Spacecraft Carrier Ever wonder how these rockets are transported to the launch locations? Maneuvering these rockets to the launch pad is as daunting as launching them into space. NASA does this major operation by using the two largest vehicles ever built, and these are known as the Crawler Transports. These vehicles date back to the Apollo program and weigh about 6 million pounds each. They measure about 140 feet by 170 feet and have eight massive tracks placed in the corners to move this giant platform along. If you happen to drive this vehicle, then you can only move it slightly one mile per hour. This is even slower than the average walking speed of a turtle. Number 6. The Ho Target 18 wheelers are the vehicle of choice for transporting cars by land. But how are these cars transported by water? The Ho Target is a prime vehicle for transporting cars by sea. With a deck space of 71,400 meters, this is the largest carrier for car and truck transportation in the world. This is 36 meters long and can transport 8,500 vehicles at a time, far surpassing any of its on-land equivalents. Number 5. Falcon 9 Reusable Rocket We all know that space travel is incredibly expensive, but guess what? Elon Musk is making space travel cheaper and even making rockets reusable. Elon Musk's company, named SpaceX, has sent the Falcon 9 rocket blasting off into outer space. But the most unique fact about this rocket is that it's reusable. This rocket is capable of transporting people and payloads up to 8,860 pounds to Mars. Isn't that just incredible? The cost required for launching the Falcon 9 is estimated at $62 million per launch, plus $2.5 million in insurance. As these rockets are reusable, the cost is cut down to less than $30 million per launch. If Elon continued to make space travel cheaper, then a Mars future might not be out of reach after all. Number 4. Muon G2 Magnet Ring Transfer The Muon G2 is a particle physics experiment. It measures the anomalous magnetic dipole movement of a muon to a precision of 0.14 picometers. What does this mean exactly? Well, let's not discuss that at present. But apparently, this means we may find new tiny particles using this huge equipment. The magnet ring had to be transported from Long Island to Illinois, which is a journey of 3,200 miles. It had to be transported super slowly and carefully. 50-foot structure traveled along the Mississippi River before then completing the rest of its journey by road to reach its destination at the Fermi Lab in Batavia, Illinois. Number 3. JJ the Baby Whale In 1997, Sea World rescued the JJ Baby Whale, one of the most successful rescues and rehabilitation stories in SeaWorld history. JJ was found at the beach in Los Angeles, a few weeks old, and wasn't in good health. The only place that could possibly handle her was SeaWorld. This baby whale was put into a massive 24-foot U-Haul truck and was transported to SeaWorld San Diego. Crews at SeaWorld immediately started tube-feeding JJ fluids to get her blood sugar back to normal. And it worked, giving her, and it worked, giving her the strength to start swimming. But what she needed now was her mother's milk. And without that as an option, they created their room. A pancake batter-like mixture was given as a source of vitamins and nutrients. Every day at SeaWorld, JJ gained about 50 pounds. So 14 months later, weighing 19,000 pounds, JJ was finally ready for the real world. 
After 14 months, she was released back into the ocean. JJ had two GPS trackers on her, but a couple of days after her release, she knocked them off. JJ has never been spotted again. And now, let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. This image was sent to us by one of our subscribers. Similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it on over to us. Who knows? We might even feature it in one of our videos. Our subscriber picture today is of an excessively overcrowded train. Crowded trains in the West are nothing compared to what commuters in the Bangladeshi capital of Dhaka have to deal with every morning and evening. Forget about luxury, the people here are more concerned about finding a spot on the roof of the train. People can even be seen hanging off the sides, making the train invisible. This might look dangerous, but this is just part of the way of life in one of the world's most populous countries. Number 1. Large Marine Vessels Ships travel by sea, but there are some incidents when these ships get so damaged that they must be towed to land. Cue a self-propelled modular transporter coming to the rescue. Also called SPMTs, these transporters use hydraulic capabilities to carry massive loads. There are several wheels beneath the platform, and they're mounted on axles that are separately controlled. What's unique about these is that the separate control causes several SPMTs linked together at a time. This increases the weight carrying ability. In 2017, a 17,000-ton Chinese ferry sunk to the bottom of the East China Sea and was towed and lifted by a 600-axle-long SPMT chain and moved to another location. Well, that concludes our list of the 10 most epic transport operations in history. Which one do you think is the most epic one? Comment down below to let us know. And before you go, don't forget to like and subscribe and click the bell icon to stay up to date with our latest videos. We'll see you next time.